and not Windows for Workgroups. At this very moment in time, we have uh, Windows 3.1 installing onto the Sega Terra Drive. Uh, not onto our standard hard drive, no, of course not. We're going to the uh, disk on module attached to the IDE, XT IDE card. Uh, now, I couldn't use Windows 3.11 because it didn't have support for uh, 286 processors, so I had to go with uh, Windows 3.1. And the difference, as far as I'm concerned, is so minimal, I don't care. But uh, if you have a look here, you can see the uh, XT IDE card access LED activate every so often. It's amazing how slow it is to install this. I installed uh, DOS before this, DOS 6.22. It took ages. But at least it's working, right? So that'll chug along and then uh, That'll be my Model 2 up and running, and I just need to do the same thing with my uh, Model 3. Of course, it already has a hard drive in it, so... Maybe I won't do it just yet. But uh, the Model 2 had nothing to lose with uh, its two floppy drives. And this sort of completely undoes all my work, where I had the uh, Windows 3.1 loading into RAM. So that's unfortunate, but now I have two gigabytes of space on a machine that can not do terribly much in the way of hard drive space utilization anyway. Uh, there's, there's an XT IDE card out of its out of the machine. Vintagecomputer.com with a hyphen. Revision two. Now the best thing is about these little discon modules is that they are they don't require 12 volt so they just run off 5 volt which is supplied in the Terra drive through the ISA slot. Um, it is a it's a 16 bit ISA slot but it is not the standard that was known on the back in the day. Um, apparently it doesn't supply 12 volts through it. So even if I were to connect something into there and try and get 12 volt out of it, I, it probably would not work. I'd need to actually sort of get it from this, uh, where is it, that connector there, where the hard drives usually come out of, hard drive connector. So uh, yeah, 44 pin connector, but uh, it does have 12 volt running out of it, so I need to go from there if I want to do that, but uh, why would I? I mean, the disk on module is silent, cool running and uh, not noisy. Ah, next disc. Anyway, that's just a uh, bit of a progress update. Next video will be inside Windows. Retro Junkie, Retro Junkie, Retro Junkie, Retro Junkie. All right, we're just uh, rebooting from the Windows install now. Should be interesting. Looks good. We're in. Excellent. Groovy. And of course, uh, what would any Terra Drive demo be without a quick solitaire game? Why don't give me so many black things? 
Oh, red six. This mouse is terrible. Oh. Why didn't you want to tell me to move the king across? It's a bit slow. I guess I'm just used to 386s. Anyway, there you have it. Thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe, because uh, there's more, more of this stuff I do every day. Just more of it. Can't stop doing things. Retrojunkie.net for uh, more detailed updates as well. Include a story behind the video. Thanks for watching. Terrible. <laughs>